Hello everyone and welcome back to more Mario and Luigi, Partners in Time. On the last episode we were defeated by a Wiggler and then defeated that same Wiggler. And on this episode we're going to try and... Oh yeah, we also got our Star Shards stolen by Baby Bowser. So that wasn't fun. So in this episode we're going to try and figure out a plan to get those Star Shards back. But first things first, since we used up all of our mushroom drops on that Wii Wii plate, we're gonna buy some more. Oh no, gear. We don't need gear. It's useless to us. Well, not useless, but we're not buying any right now. We're gonna be buying some, like, mushroom drops. Ooh, they're 20% off. Let's just grab... <laughs> we're not gonna grab 99. Let's grab, like, 20. Considering they're twenty percent off. Um, what else is cheap right now? Super mushrooms? Why not? We'll get like ten of those. One of mushrooms we will get like four since they're kind of expensive. And that's it. All right, cool. We bought all the items we need, at least that we hopefully need. Let's go see what Egad is up to. Let's figure out a plan, Yad. About time you boys showed up, and it doesn't persnick any obstacles, did you? I am deep in a shame cycle, Professor. We nearly had a pair of fragments, but... That young Bowser fell. Oh, made off with them both. <laughs> now, now, don't get your little hazard. They've been new to that most popular up here faster than the toast on Saturday morning. Wow, two more already. As soon as he said, nope, four more. As soon as he said that, I was like, "What was going on?" A tremendous cobalt sword engineering. I've no doubt that that's the time all you want. Yep, that's where Baby Bowser made his escape. Mario, Luigi, we must chase. We must have redemptitude. <laughs> you know, for me, a suitcase. I don't think that's a word. Look now, <laughs> nope, wrong person. Look now before you rush off. I think it'd be wise to separate the rest of the castle. Another thing, there's another Lucy fellow from the past running around with the baby. He told us the ground, can you make sure there's no help? Hoopla! Of that. Sure, why not? Let's go take care of that hoopla. Quite quickly. At least I hope it's gonna be some. Did we heal? Well, if we hadn't, we have now. I look lively now, elder me. We must please the princess. Put your back into it. I am absolutely spent. Pull yourself together and smile. I say smile. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the smile is terrible. It's terrifying. Toads with the younger. A princess, she won't. She won't stop crying. Tut tut. Why are you not elder me? We've not yet begun to amuse. Arms up now. Three, two, one. Toad's Wild Twist! <laughs> Jolly good, elder me. Our charge is giggling. Wow, that actually looks like a lot of fun to spin around in the air like that. Defying gravity and all. Oh! <laughs> they stopped defying gravity. Oh, Masters Mario and Luigi grown right up, haven't you? I'm quite up to speed on our crisis. Bit of a sticky wicket. The adult Princess Peach, the kingdom, you must save it all. I shall be right here, as you do, rooting for victory. Thank you, Toadsworth. What's that you say, old bean? You wish to learn our move? We can just spin! Oh my god, that's awesome! Well, if it will help you fulfill your duties, of course, it'll be an honor and a privilege. Come, practice awaits. Chin up, elder me. Doesn't falter now. We get to do a spin move. This is gonna be awesome. We've taken to calling this technique a spin jump. Oh, now that's elder. We've taken to calling this technique a spin jump. You'll soon see precisely why Master Luigi begins the move. 
Are we all quite ready? Good commence the instruction. It's time to commence, yay. First person to make Luigi's icon change into the spin jump icon. Next press B so Master Luigi leaps up and punches Master Mario's shoulders. From there, press B again to make two of you whirl up about and rise skyward. Kinda like a sword? <laughs> Zelda game, yeah. My universe. And now it's rather academic, but up. Oh, nope. This marvelous technique will allow you to cross gaps when making jumping proves lagging. Have at it. Accidentally pressed the L. Somehow. Alright, alright. There we go. Spin. <laughs> oh. We got to spin. Don't worry, we got this. Spin, spin. I don't think we can spin up the steps. Yeah, no, we can't. Aw. I think I might just spin everywhere now. Yes, yes, jolly good show. I just will use it to your advantage in the field as well. We learned how to spin! That's like the best thing ever. I should think this spin jump will give you access to some awfully hard to reach areas. Now, now it's time to be officers. Utilize the new time hole. Rescue our princess. I actually have no idea which time hole we're supposed to go to. So let's try the one on the bottom right. Because it seems like the best place to go, I suppose. I doubt Bowser Jr. or Baby Bowser went back to that place. Oh, Holly Jolly Village again. I absolutely no idea where Baby Bowser went. Well, I doubt he came here. So let's just go back in and try and find the right time portal. And we're going back for you through time! Princess Peach's Castle. Okay, so yeah, that goes to Dolly Dolly Village. Where does that time hole in the top left lead to? Because I think that might be the place he went. If not, then he probably went to Holly Jolly Vi Village. Let's find out, shall we? Or at least try to. Did the babies have to be off? Yeah, okay. I was just wondering if I could do the spin jump with the babies off or not. They need to be on. Where? Oh! Right. We can, like, hammer time this. I think we can. We can't. Alright, whatever. That's fine. Oh, spin jump. Considering that this place needs a spin jump to access, I'm going to assume that this is the way to go. Oh, nope. Too far. At least I think it's too far. Is this going to be like that other puzzle that took us like 15 minutes to do? Because if it is, I'm going to stink. I don't want this to be too long. Or maybe I do. Don't know. Let's see what's upstairs. I'm saying there might be something up there. Ooh, 100 coins. Always nice. There may have been 10 coins, actually. I don't know. Oh, nope. There's a pointer for that one, so... I'm pretty sure we have to go to that one. First things first, though. Let's grab that. Come on. Let's grab this Luigi thing. A training badge. What does that do? 
Use as many attack items as you like, but lose a lot of power. For practice. Hmm. Well, considering that we don't need practice, I think I'll just take that off. Though, if it does what I think it does, it might be really useful. Though, I kind of doubt it does what I think it does. What I think it does is that it lets us use, like, items as much as we want, even during, like, boss fights and such. Which I doubt will happen. And it might not even be that useful because I fell off again. Alright. Might not even be that useful in boss fights because as we saw in that last boss fight, the items didn't really work too well because most of the items are AoE, that means area effect. And area effect doesn't really work too well didn't really work too well because yeah because it would either heal him or deal damage to him but it more often than not healed him in which case it kind of stunk it is time foil yay the time and space mostly time into the past to Yoshi's Island I'm kind of excited to meet Yoshis. Fun fact, Yoshis are one of my favorite characters in the Mon in the Mario universe. Second favorite? Psst, probably Mario. Actually, no, I kind of like Luigi more than Mario. Welcome to Yoshis Island. See our enormous big egg now open for viewing. Oh, that's gonna get stolen. Predicting it now, that's gonna get stolen. If it doesn't, I'm going to be quite sad. Alright, no spin jumping there. Well, let's go see this big egg of theirs. But first, let's save. And continue. At the last battle. We also got another badge, which is a shroom badge, which... Increases points recovered. I'll give that to Luigi, considering that we don't really, we don't, attack. Luigi's usually going to be our healer in this group, since Mario has a lot more attack than he does. What's up here, if anything? Eh, no, why? Wait, 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 nope, can't throw them, dang. I was hoping we could maybe, like, throw the babies. So that way the babies would be able to actually get that, but they weren't, so oh well. I can just use Mario to do so. Instead. Nope. Hang on. Let's see what's inside. Hey, why are you taking pictures? I mean, I don't mind. I mean, I'm pretty photogenic. Nah, what a lemon, and this film ain't GB neither. Oh, is that a girl? I was pro- nope, not happening. <clears throat> I don't know how to do this voice. Screw it. I was pro for you scooping along our, our whiskers on a couple sap babies. <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> Kylie Cooper, our reporter, the Cooper Chronicles best. Know about the giant egg? Yeah, why? Well, just appeared, and this thing's got hundreds connected to the shrooms. Thought to get the straight dope from the locals, but this place is like a morgue. Where is it, buddy? Speaking of fishy, this jump pack was positive with reeks of mystery, reeks of it. But I hopped up there and did a diddly squat. I wonder if I'm too heavy for it. Say, so, do me a favor, hop up there, will ya? Babies, come on, let's go. Aw, oh, did nothing. Oh well. So if the fishing is going on, I tell ya. It might be that only the babies can go on. 
considering that she made that comment comment about being too heavy. Yep. Babies. Ritzy work. Yoshis! We found you! Sorry, I'm fine. Yoshi! <laughs> What's the word? Uh oh, uh, what's that pounding noise? Yoshi! What? What? Oh, this report just got front page fever. What is that pounding? Let's go find out. Gibberish. Man, I love hearing gib. Uh oh, uh, what is that monster? Gibberish. I don't think your bridge cuts it. Yoshi! No! We just met you! Ah. Oh, our scoop is huge! Exclusive stuff for presses! Uh oh. Oh, Raspberry's my stoop got snack bait. It's also ooky gooky. Oh no, he's gonna be bouncing around forever. Yoshi! 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 Ah, why would you do this? They were just poor innocent Yoshis. No, don't lick us up, please. Coming through, and he bounced right out. Hoping we can help him out a bit. All right. Well, after that scary encounter, next time on Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, we're gonna try and find out what that giant dinosaur was. And hopefully, you know, save that guy from bouncing eternally. Oh god, oh, that's sick game. Oh. He ate all the Yoshis. Whatever, thank you all for watching. And I'm really bad at outros.